We have picked out our spot. Here we are, all set up. I wish I could tell you that we were at Berryman or who's who's at conservation, but we decided to come back to Spring Gap Creek Primitive Spite number two. Getting ready to do some cooking. Let's go over here in the hammock. Now about this on why we decided to do this. Uh the first reason is David and I have figured out that if an answer doesn't come to us quickly, if we don't feel good about a decision, then we don't do it because we've done this enough to know that if we're just, we're for some reason, we're unsure. Okay. And here are the things that we were unsure about. Berryman campground is a free campground. It's in the national forest. We were down there a couple of weeks ago checking it out, and there were ATVs flying around everywhere. And uh, we just were worried we would drive down there and it would be uh, full, and we would have to get a dispersed spot in the woods, which we had uh, had one already picked out. But then we would be listening to ATV and side by sides going up and down. So then, who's our conservation area? It has the potential to be packed. It's Saturday night. Uh, when we were in St. James and down at Merrimack Spring, there were all kinds of people swimming in the creek at that conservation area. Woods Conservation is right there, about two miles from there. So as we just kept coming closer to the truck, we just kind of, we couldn't come up with an answer one way or the other. We, we both were hesitant. You could tell. Neither one of us said, let's go do that. Because we kept thinking about the cons of, if we drive all the way down there. So then I said, what if we go back to Spring Creek Gap where we were this morning when we videoed for the Spring Creek Gap video? We knew, he goes, you know, we'll be alone. I was like, you know, it's in the middle of the country. Like there's not going to be highway noise. There's two bars of service. So Dave's going to be able to watch his farming videos. So. He looked it up about 18 miles back, and that's what we did. So we are comfortable with our decision. While we were in St. James, we filled up both the truck and the Jeep. And now I'm getting ready to do some cooking, and we're going to have a fire, and we're going to be able to relax tonight and not have to worry about ATVs, too many people. Um, we've been down in the Ozarks enough to know, and we're not ca casting judgment on anyone, but. There are some groups of people that can cut loose on a Saturday night in the Ozarks. And we are not cut loose kind of people on a Saturday night or any other night. We like peace and quiet. Oh, yeah, we were just about ready to go. If somebody was in this spot, our backup plan was Bell Chute access on the Gasconade River. That was when we turned off of a highway over by St. James, that was eight miles away, and that was our backup plan. We're going to go there one day because it was beautiful down there. But uh, we're going to finish uh, getting ready for supper, and then we will get back with you as we have something to video. I'm getting ready to make a fruit salad for supper. So I've already chopped up some strawberries, and I'm using the sugar-free strawberry glaze. I use that stuff a lot when strawberries are in season just because I love it. Put it in there. And then I've already, I don't know about the bananas, if bananas are gonna be enough. I have to chop some more bananas. What do you think, Dave? Is that enough bananas for yeah, you? Bananas. Okay, that's gonna be our fruit salad. It looks like we're going to go with tacos and chicken enchiladas for supper. And that's gonna be, I mean, to get the Coleman oven out and then also the uh, tripod grill. So when we get that all going, we'll be back with you.
We're taking a, the dog for a walk before we eat supper. And I wanted Dave to show everyone the Missouri Department of Conservation app again. I've had some people asking me about that app. If you skip and you go right to the nearby or if, we, if you're looking for camping, and that tells you how far away it is from your site. Areas near me, or you can do a search bar. And it keeps getting further away, miles-wise, from where you're at, where your phone's at. We use this app a lot, don't we, Dave? Yes. Yep. So you can back up. I can back out and just go skip. Then it'll show all at once any type of conservation area. If it's camping, fishing, every type there is. Yep. There's a tower site, says there. Yep. All right, that's the Missouri Conservation app. We've got chicken enchiladas starting to heat up. I made those at home. We're getting ready. I made this taco meat at home already. We are putting it into the taco shells. And then I'm gonna put some cheese on it. Put it in the Coleman oven. The chicken enchiladas heated up, got the fruit salad. Dave's got the big white conservation book. You wanna show them one more time if they didn't see what this is, Dave? Our big conservation book. Now this here's one through 23. And this is our key right here. So we have every county uh, in this book. And just pick out one, Dave, just. Well, right now, I'm looking for uh, more stuff on Dent County. If we got any place else to look, okay, just to open Indian one trail. up and let's show them. Looking at tomorrow, Pea Ridge and Hoosa. So we have every conservation area in Missouri, and actually, we've had to put them in two notebooks now. And so, uh, while we're eating or after we eat. We're going to do some more investigating into where we want to go tomorrow. So I guess this might be good night. You can see the sun is setting. After I eat, I'm going to be in that hammock reading my Kindle. So we'll probably see you in the morning unless we get that fire going really big. Good night, everyone. and the crescent moon. French toast. Here's what we're doing. I already pre-cooked these at home and now I'm putting them on the uh, pie iron. Just close, close that up and then you put this on your coals. Already done a pile. I use that aluminum foil, even though I just seasoned that. I just don't like messing around with burnt food on there. So by using the foil, it's very easy cleanup and efficient. So we'll get back with you when this is done. While that is cooking, I'll show you how I'm gonna build these up. Now, the pie irons, normally you wanna get your coals 
and put your pie iron in the coals. You don't really want to put your pie iron in a flaming hot flame. So we're just going to make some blackberry jam, stuffed French toast. Put that together. Just making a stack of them. Uh, that recipe came out of this pie iron cookbook. Got off of Amazon. Uh, we use that a lot when we're camping. We love our pie irons. We have this rectangular one and then we have the pie one. I think you saw us use that at our Pleasant Hill video. All right, we'll be back with you when this is all done. Okay, our French toast, strawberry jam, French stuffed French toast is ready. We put the leftover fruit topping from last night's salad on the top. And I added the pre-cooked bacon that you can buy at the grocery store already pre-cooked. I use that a lot. Let your pie iron cool before you put it up. All right, we're going to enjoy our breakfast and we'll be back with you next. Get Dave's reaction on this first bite because I've already taken a bite of mine. Mm, good. Isn't that good? Yeah. Oh, I can highly recommend that recipe. Putting that jam in the middle and the fruit on top it's like a cross between, I don't know, a waffle? Kind of like a fruit pie or something. Me, you know, like a strawberry pie or... I don't know. We can't describe it, but it melts in your mouth and it's good. Yep. All right. We got the Jeep ready to go. We're about ready to go out day tripping out of St. James, Missouri. We're just out driving around sightseeing. We're up here. Uh, actually, I don't even know what exit we took. <coughs> Maybe bourbon exit? I'm not sure. We're off I-44. Uh, we found this Crawford County placard. Talks about how this county is known for its iron ore. Stillville, the county seat. Uh, a lot of Civil War information and uh, activity went on in this county. We're just driving down the road and here's another uh, historical marker, the Battle of Leesburg, uh, the night of September 27th. Union troops under General Ewing forced to evacuate Fort Davidson at Pilot Knob or be annihilated, escape through the enemy lines. And just there's a whole bunch of Civil War information. Uh, one of these days, we're going to do a video at Pilot Knob. How is it? We're down here at the canoe launch. Just got out of the Jeep so that the dog could mosey around down here. It is beautiful. Merrimack River in Missouri is beautiful. It is a big canoeing river, as you can see by over there. Oh, we love just doing driving around. Wherever we end up, we end up. Today we ended up here. We were driving by out of Onondaga Cave State Park and we just happened to see this canoe hinge area. It is in the Ozark. It's a private campground rafting area. I'll have to get the picture and let you know because I didn't really look, but it's big. An Ozark outdoor outdoors, I think. But I thought this was neat. Canoe hinge. For Toys Creek Roadside Park. There's some trash. And grass needs to be mowed, but we're early. See, uh, back in there, it looks to me like somebody has pulled in there for a night of sleeping once. All right, we're moving on. We just got back from running around. We've just been running around looking at National Forest campgrounds and up and down National Forest roads. We just got back. Dave's getting the fire started. He's back there in the woods gathering some wood. We are going to have corn on the cob, bratwurst from Luder River. The other day I bought leftover potato salad. Hoping that we're going to have an amazing sunset the way we did last night. Everything's coming along nicely. Just wanted to show you our solar panel, why we like having our solar panel on a cord. We've been gone most of the day. 
So now we can move it wherever we need to to get the last bit of sunshine, charge up our camper battery. Bratwurst are about done. Corn on the cob is done. We got the table about ready to go. Can't wait to eat this, we're starving. It's off the fire and we're ready to eat. Go ahead and sit down, Dave. Let's sit down and eat. We got our chair and our tables. We're gonna sit down and relax and eat tonight. We got some leftovers, but I'm thinking I want some popcorn later. So we'll probably be back with you later when we're popping that popcorn. Getting ready to put the popcorn in. A little bit more. Okay, that's it. All right, we will see how fast this takes to pop. Do you hear the whippoorwill? Out here by the highway, we got hooked up. We are heading home. We've enjoyed our time here, down here, exploring the area. Uh, this video, we just mostly showed you our camping at our that little area at Spring Creek Gap Conservation Area. We loved. Side. Been a nice spot, hasn't it, Dave? Yep. I think we. Yeah, beautiful sunsets. Quiet. Uh, one truck went by. It was the same truck. He went by three or four times yeah. since we were there. But they live down there. They got a farm down there. We are glad and grateful that we found this spot. We could use this spot when we're heading south. Get two hours off of our driving time and just get a little bit closer. Uh, we're starting up on National Forest Campground reviews. Make sure you check our playlist for our different National Forest campgrounds, Corps of Engineer campgrounds, Missouri Department of Conservation free camping videos. We're getting geared up. We got big summer plans. We appreciate all of you all watching, subscribing, commenting on our YouTube channels. We really appreciate it. We also will be doing a one year anniversary video coming up pretty soon. Anything else, Dave? Nothing I can think of. America's beautiful. Get out and see it. Like and subscribe if you want to. We'll see you on the road.